Hi, welcome to episode three of the Think Juno series. Uh, today we'll be getting into configuring the management Ethernet interface, the out of band interface. So what we have here today, uh, we're back at our EX2200 switch. Uh, if you remember from episode two, we created some user accounts on this switch. Uh, we uh, put a password in for the root user, and then we also created the user Oliver. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna log in with Oliver. It's gonna ask me for my password. It was Think Juno Spang. Now you'll notice uh, what happens here when I logged in with a user. Um, Oliver was the class super user. Uh, when I log in as that user with that class, I'm put right to the operational mode prompt. Uh, this is a difference. When we logged in as root, it dropped us into the shell and we had to uh, enable the CLI by typing CLI. When you log in with uh, any other user besides root, uh, you'll actually get dropped directly into Junos. So that's important note. All right, so um, what we're gonna do first, let me do a show. Uh, interfaces, uh, terse, and let me uh, match ME0. Let me just match ME. All right, so uh, what we have here, if we come back and do show ME0, uh, what we have to show uh, is the management Ethernet interface. Uh, the, the physical management Ethernet interface is ME0, and the logical uh, interface is ME0.0. .0. Um, for management purposes, uh, we're only going to configure a single IP on that, um, and that is a dedicated port on the back of the switch uh, that can be used to process just uh, control traffic. So it's a good practice to separate your uh, your data traffic from your control traffic uh, in the event of um, you know any issues on your network. It's also good to use your management interface for things like SNMP uh, or any type of polling or logging from the device. That way, you're uh, always guaranteed access to that. If even if there's uh, you know, any type of interface issues on the uh, host facing or uh, uplink ports. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter configuration mode. So we type in configure. Now um, I want to just point out there's two ways to enter configuration mode. There's configure and you'll see right away that says entering configuration mode. We're now at our top section which is edit. I'm going to exit here. Uh, there's also edit. Edit will do the same functionality. So edit and configure are synonymous. They'll both take you to uh, the configuration mode. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, edit interfaces. Remember this, we're going to drop into that interfaces subsection and I'm going to show you what's going on. So what we have here is we have all of our Ethernet interfaces. Uh, we should have 24 of them listed here, uh, 0, 0, 0 through 0, 0 slash 23. And you'll see that all the way down here. We go to interface 23. And then we have uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 0 uh, and all the way down through gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 slash 3. These are our, our, our four uplink ports and the uh, Juno's nomenclature here indicates that the zero, uh, the beginning zero is the switch. The next number, uh, in this case uh, zero, would be the onboard or uh, PFE or PIC zero, whatever you want to whatever you want to say for that, and then the the actual physical interface number, which is zero through twenty three. The reason we see zero slash one slash zero is that is indicating the second PFE or second PIC uh, on the box. These are built in, so they're not modular, but it does indicate that, that those are the secondary ones. Um, so that's the order. That's the numbering order. Everything starts at zero uh, and starts typically from the left, and then uh, numbers to the right and goes up. So note note that. All right, and then the last interface we have here uh, at the end here is ME0, which is our man e management Ethernet interface, and then VLAN uh, VLAN interfaces. Now, we'll get into configuring VLANs uh, later, but um, there's two modes of VLANs um, that we'll go through, uh, Layer 2 and Layer 3 VLANs. Now, I want to point out a couple things we're looking at here. Uh, you'll notice the difference if we just identify here uh, Gigabit Ethernet 1 or 0 slash 1 slash 3, Unit 0 says Family Ethernet Switching. And then ME0 says unit zero family INET. And we're gonna talk about what those families are in the units uh, as we get into this. So what I said we're gonna do today is we're gonna configure that management ethernet zero interface. So the easiest way to do it, the way I like to do it, is I like to dig into the, the places where I'm gonna manage. So from the edit interfaces subsection, I'm gonna say edit um, ME0. Now you'll notice that if I try and type interface, it doesn't have interface. If I try and type interface, you know, space, anything, it wants to fill that out. So 
there's really no way um, uh, to put in just type an interface there without it uh, giving you that. And the reason it is is because we're already in the interfaces subsection. So all you have to type here is edit me zero, and now you'll notice that the um, in the brackets above it says edit interfaces me zero. When we type a show, all we see is me zero. Okay. So now we've we've kind of drilled down to just the piece we want to work on. Now what I want to do is I want to put an IP address on this. So this is where I'm going to use my set command again. And uh, if I just have a question mark just to show you what's going on here, um, I don't have too many options here. So I'm already within the interface subsection. I'm just working on that interface. Um, I can do a couple different things here, but but what I want to work on um, and what you need to know about interfaces is you always have to tell the interface what unit you're going to use, which logical interface you're going to be configuring for that interface. So I'm going to say set unit zero question mark. Um, the next thing it's going to say uh, that we need to deal with is the family, the protocol family. So interfaces can be um, several different types. Uh, if I type family and hit question mark, I'll show you what that is. Um, the the two primary one, the primary ones you'll work with um, on a EX switch is Ethernet switching, which effectively tells it it's going to be a layer two interface. And then once it's a layer two interface, you can put it in whichever VLANs you need it to be be in. And then the other one is the INET families. Um, so if you're going to be using V4, uh, the family is going to be INET. If you're going to be using V6, it's going to be INET6. Uh, those are the two primary ones you'll be working with when you talk about Ethernet interfaces. Um, on some of the routers um, and some of the security products, you'll see some other type of families, but those are the two ones you need to worry about right now. So we're going to put an IPv4 address on this. So we're going to say set unit zero family INET. We'll do question mark again, and our next option is uh, that we want to, at least that we want to set up, is address, and that's going to configure the actual IP address uh, of this interface. I'll hit question mark again, and now we're ready to actually put in the address. So I'm going to build out our management network on the 192.168.1 network, and I'm going to make this switch.10. Now uh, you'll notice in the possible completions section above, it says interface address slash destination prefix. Uh, Junus understands uh, slash notation. So in this case, I can just say, say slash 24 and hit enter. And now it takes it as the command. So if I hit show, what you'll see here is now we have entered the family INET address of 192.168.1.10 slash 24. All right, so um, what I want to do now is I'm going to commit this. Remember this command, commit and quit. Commit and quit is going to commit that configuration and take us back out to the operational mode. Now that that's committed, I'm going to show interfaces uh, terse match me zero dot zero. So now you'll notice that uh, we have an interface. It's up, up, which means it's uh, physically present and it has protocol. Uh, its family is uh, IPv4 and it has an address of uh, 192.168.1.10 slash 24. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my terminal session here of my computer and I'm going to say type ping 192.168.1.10. And you'll see that I have a connection. So that's working. We've That's effectively done and complete. OK, that's all we're doing for today is configuring the management Ethernet interface. Um, the next episode, we're actually going to configure the physical interfaces. And we're going to connect this switch to another switch. So we're going to be creating uh, a trunk port with two VLANs. Uh, well, maybe I should say one VLAN on both sides. Uh, so we can ping across that trunk port. So that'll be episode four. So thank you for your time.